All right, um, the next thing I want to show you is touch. So um, touch, it, she's getting better at it, but um, touch is doing a nose bump to the palm of my hand. So it can be another way to redirect her to you. So I'm gonna call her since she's not paying attention. Millie, touch. Yes, right, it's just a little nose bump to my hand. So it's kind of like the watch me, right? That it gets focus, it gets attention. When we were out walking, I would sometimes ask her to do a touch and it was just kind of like a focus exercise. Uh, you know, if her brain's focused on doing this here, she's not looking around at other stuff. It's an alternative way to call her to come. Touch. Yes, I like to use it too. So uh, if I'm out, like when we were at the Katie Trail Ice House, um, I would ask her to do a touch because she was under our table, right? So the waiter would come up and I would ask for a touch. It's not a big behavior, it's a small behavior, but it gave her something to do in that moment, right? Instead of getting overworked up about um, the waiter, we also had a cute little pug there with us um, who had a bone, right? And so she was very interested in his bone. So I did a lot of the touch just to get her to focus on me and not be focused on the pug and the bone. So, Millie, touch. Yes, good. So I want to yes this one, and I do it just right when I get that good nose bump. Touch, good girl, touch. Yes, good girl. All right, the next thing, oh, let me get, on the touch, things that can help is putting it low, uh, moving it can help, right? Like you make it a little bit of a moving target and that will help them come to it. So, touch. See, I'm moving it away, that helps. Good girl, versus it just being still. I honestly feel like she can do either. Good girl, because she's smart, she can get whatever. All right, uh, the next thing I guess we'll talk about is off, right, not jumping up. So if she tried to jump on me, I'm pretty much just going to ignore it. I am going to turn away. Um, if a dog jumps on me, I'm not giving them eye contact, right? I'm not going to push them off and say, no, stop it. Uh, uh leave it, leave it. Um, so I have a plant over here that has little rocks on top. So her nose was just in it. We're going to get to leave it in a second, but I just used it in real life then. And it worked very, very well. Um, so off. So if she jumps up on me, I don't want to look at her. I don't want to push her down. I don't want to tell her I don't like it. The best thing I can do is just go, nothing. You get nothing from me when you jump. Um, I'm going to turn away and ignore you. But the other part of that, right, we don't want to just ignore it, um, is telling her what we would like her to do, which is sitting. So I make a point that, like, when the dogs come up to me, if they stand nicely next to me, I touch them. If they sit next to me, I will pet them. Um, I try to make them very aware that their actions will elicit certain responses in me um, as a human. So the dogs here really quickly learn that jumping just gets nothing. Where if they sit, if they look at me, they do all the nice things I like, that will get me to praise them, feed them, pet them, give them access to areas in the yard, um, my attention in general. So um, just be very aware of that. And so if you came up and there were new people when we were at PetSmart, um, we were standing in line. So instead of letting her go and sniff people and wait and see if she might jump on them, I'm asking her to sit, right? I'm telling her what I want her to do and rewarding her for that so that that is just the behavior. We're not even having to deal with jumping because she knows what she wants, she should be doing. So uh, if she did jump up on a friend, you can say off. If she jumps on you, ignore it. If she jumped on the couch, you can say off, okay? So when somebody else, something else, you can say off and kind of point away. All right, uh, last thing we're gonna do is leave it. So leave it means don't touch it, don't pick it up. It's the idea that good things come from you, not from the ground. So we have several little exercises we've been working on. So exercise one, I'm gonna put the tree in my hand. So I got a big piece. Put the treat in my hand. When she goes for it, I'm gonna say leave it. And when she backs off, I'm gonna reward with a second treat. So earlier she went and gotten my, my potted plant over here. And I told her leave it and she just came over here and sat next to me and I petted her and loved on her. 
So we do these training exercises so that when we need it to work in real life, it'll just work, okay? So when you're practicing, reward it, make a big deal out of it, and then you can start incorporating it into real life where sometimes you have a treat and sometimes you don't. But you always have your voice, you always have your hands, you can pet them and, and give that kind of feedback. So um, Millie, good girl. So I'm gonna show her the treat. Leave it. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now I'm rewarding out of my hand, not the leave it. And this is a really good leave it. Leave it. Yes, good girl. She's like, I know. She knows. All right, so now that's exercise one. If she did try to go for it, you would just put your fist around it. Exercise two. I'm gonna uh, put the leave it on the ground and cross it off. So uh, leave it. Yes. Good girl. Try it again. Leave it. <laughs> She's like, where is it? Yes. Okay. I'm just, I'm just like making her work extra hard for it. Good girl. Okay, so that one, uh, you know, like if a dog came up to my treat couch and was nosing me, I might do that cross off, leave it. Um, on my couch where I sit, I have a cup holder. It is the perfect height for dogs to come up and sniff. I will cross it off and do a leave it. So on the second exercise, that's just a visual cue that we're giving. All right, and the last one here, I'm gonna drop it and block it with my foot. Except she's so good, she's like, that. Get her moving around. Yes, good girl. Okay, she's just, she's got it.